I can't hang out any longer, man. I need, we need to get some shelter. Did see a cabin when I was doing my scout earlier. It's just a little ways that way. It's creepy over there, and it's right next to the woods. But at least we have a windbreak. Let's get our stuff and go. The team has been warned repeatedly that the forest, no man's land, is Nantinok's domain. Venturing beyond the trees for any reason is taking a major risk. We know the stories of Nantinok are Bigfoot out here, and we're going to really have to watch our backs. It's right next to no man's land, too. It doesn't look like it's perfect, but it looks like it's sound. I'm cold, man. I can't I can't complain right now. All right. Let's check her out. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's scary. Cabin. It just has an eerie feeling. Nantanak and Bigfoot, however you want to say it. But it just feels like there's eyes on you. I know there's something here. Well, let's uh, patch this wall up a little bit. There are a bunch of boards here. here. I'll keep the wind from coming in. The eerie feelings that I've been feeling since we got here, just can't shake it. But I do believe in higher power, and my faith is a big part of me. When we got here, I said a prayer in my head. Praying for anything specific? For a safe journey and, and no one gets hurt. Wearing my, you know, my cross I've had forever. We got that tarp, we can hang that on the door. Might be a little breezy, but we don't have any choice at this point. I am not too happy about being this close to the woods, but there's really nothing we can do about it. This is going to be a rough night, guys. We just got a few hours till daylight, so let's just make it through this. What the hell was that? <laughs> 